Because of the hurricanes, classes were interrupted. In fact, for 11 days, kids were out of school, and now Sarasota County parents are finding out that the school calendar has changed. Just another stress added, I guess. It's more trying to just organize, prepare, plan. Tana Anderson and her husband Sean have an eighth grader and a sixth grader, plus they own and run the Crescent Grocery Store. So school changes, no matter how little, can throw everything out of whack. First, I had to figure out what calendar changes that affected um, and then what actually was changing. So mm -hmm. I printed out the calendar. High school classes will all be longer. Grading periods have been adjusted to later dates. All school days will be full days, including during exam weeks. And several teacher work days now converted to student days, one at the end of the year and one during spring break. So these are days that normally, you know, we would be out. We go away for spring break and then you start the summer and decide how you're going to proceed. They have summer camp and those types of things. Alexis Rosenberg is also a working mom running her own law firm, so she has to juggle the kids' schooling with court dates, depositions, and other responsibilities, and like other parents, is also trying to make sure no assignments are missed or late because of the interruption. I think either way the school is going to be on the losing end because some parents are going to think they should have more days and other parents are going to be like, no, I don't want you to interfere with my summer or spring break. Parents may feel that all or most of the 10 missed days of school should be made up, but I believe the kids would wholeheartedly disagree. I'm sure there's not one single kid that's going to say, maybe one, but there's really not going to be many kids that are going to want more days tacked on. In Sarasota County, I'm Don Brennan for SNN, the Suncoast News Network.